Hello and welcome to Fun with Physics with Uncle Bob. This week we'll be taking a look at a logic problem from this book Symbolic Logic by Lewis Carroll. This book is available used quite cheaply. It has two parts, part one and part two. Part one is available through public domain access, freely available online. Part two, as you see, has uh, never been published before, so there are copyright restrictions on that. However, part one has eight or nine good problems in logic in the back. So you can find those problems online or get a used copy of this book. Part two has many excellent problems in logic in the back as well. As you may know, Lewis Carroll is the pen name of Charles Dodson. He was an excellent mathematician in the late 1800s. So today, we'll be taking a look at one of his problems in the back of part one. Let's have a look at that problem now. Here's that problem entitled Six Friends and Their Wives. The best thing to do, rather than me reading each line to you, is just go ahead and pause right now and read through this problem. So you can see that this appears to be quite a complicated problem. A total of 12 people will assume that each party must have at least two people in it. If that's the case, the maximum number of parties we would have would be six. Six times two being twelve, twelve people. Of course, we could have less than six parties. We could have, say, three parties. A party of eight a party of two and another party of two. We could have two parties, a party of ten, a party of two, and so on. However, the maximum number of parties would be six. Within each of those parties, we could have any combination of these twelve individuals. So as you can see, this is quite a complicated problem. I'll show you how I solved it in a simpler manner now. Here's that program I wrote in Power Basic. It's very simple. Once again, the problem is to prove that there must be every day at least one married couple who are not in the same party. This program assumes the opposite. That is, that everyone is in the same party with their spouse. What the program shows is that there is no condition or combination of party and people that will satisfy all six conditions when everyone is with their own spouse in the same party. It looks at all possible combinations here. We have a maximum of six parties and the couples are assumed to be together outlined here looking at all combinations down here. These are the six statements, requirements of the problem. I'll go through the first one with you. It says, if Akers is with his wife and Barry with his and Eden with Mrs. Hall, Cole must be with Mrs. Dix. Well, by definition of this program I wrote, Akers is with his wife and Barry also with his. The requirements here is Eden is with Mrs. Hall and Cole must be with Mrs. Dix. So if that's the case, we get a pass and so on down for each of the six statements. If I ever get a situation where all these requirements, six requirements, are fulfilled, I get a pass of six and it will print this out. So, by using these situations, I have found that there is no combination of party and peoples that satisfy this. Therefore, I have proven the problem. Interestingly enough, this problem only requires 
the first statement and the sixth statement to also assure that there must be every day at least one married couple who are not in the same party. So there you go. That's all for now. We'll see you next week on Fun with Physics with Uncle Bob.